What's up, YouTube? I'm Jalen and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm going to take the time. We will be eating next stop. I go dash it. I got 10. This is my first time trying this stuff. But I got some. Fries. And 10 garlic top of my own wings. I guess they thought this was gonna be two people because they gave me two things. Some extra ranch and some cheese fries. So originally, I wasn't um, in the spray. An unpopular opinion video. So we under that. So I'm gonna give y'all my unpopular opinion. Whether y'all like them or not. So, my second unpopular opinion. Oh, before I continue, these are my opinions. I don't care if you have a problem with it. Oh, well. As long as it's your opinion, I respect your opinion as long as your opinion doesn't affect other people's safety. That's simple. The thing is that. Every person, I believe that every person in the U.S. does not have an FBI agent. Like he's at least not a personal agent that sits there twenty four seven and watches you and all that stuff. Like y'all not that important to the government, especially not no freaking teenagers but don't do nothing you know, but sit at home all day and watch it up place I do think though this is my opinion but instead of them watching you 24-7 that they do have records of your phone calls and text messages blah, 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 blah. and they do check in whether it's weekly, monthly, annually I don't know. A lot of people believe that they check in. Another unpopular opinion is I don't know if this is unpopular because a lot of people agree with me, but also a lot of people disagree with this. So I'm gonna just say it anyway. Julian is stupid, dumb, whatever you want to call it. Because you're literally, especially with teenagers, you're literally giving yourself a nicotine addiction at 17. 16, 17, 18 years old. For what? To look cool? Like. And y'all some little crackheads. Because there's people that I know. I'm not going to say I'm friends with them, but I know them. And they literally can't go days without vape or jewelry. You know, whatever. You're giving yourself an addiction. And parents, I mean, not parents. Yeah, parents need to start. I believe in weapons. Okay? I'm not saying abuse a child. I'm, I'm not saying abuse your child. I, like I, I'm not a parent. Nowhere near a parent. I'm not even at high school yet, so. <laughs> no, I'm not a parent. But if you have kids, guys, yeah, respect me. No, listen, y'all need to put y'all kids in jail. Alright. These little kids be thinking that they run stuff and they're like seven. You can't even get a job. And awesome, I think they're building to be a better person. Okay, maybe not a better person, but uh, you don't do it again. Like, if you do it again, you do it again, but you're gonna go up again. Actually, I take that back. I wouldn't necessarily say whoopings, just discipline the child. Like, whatever what that is, same way they're 
I pair putting them in time out and not letting them go outside. Something, please. Also, another unpopular. Okay, I don't even know if half of these are unpopular. I don't know. Oh, but a funeral is a scam. Literally. You die and your family gotta pay ten thousand thousands of dollars to put you in a cemetery and put you in the casket and put you six feet under the ground. It should not be that expensive to die. Like you're dead, you're not doing nothing, you're literally dead. What you gonna do? Run away in the casket like Funerals are so expensive for no reason. Like, what? Right? Like, why is it so expensive? No reason for it to be that expensive. I'm gonna get hate on this one, but Joe Biden, I'm not cool with him no more. We used to be cool with him from default because he was friends with Obama. Not friends, he was vice president. But some of the comments he's been making recently, him and Obama must not be cool no more because he said, now I don't know 100%, I'm not going to be 100% correct. I have a plan in the club for y'all. And the other thing we should do is we should challenge these students. We should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Well, now, correct me if this was wrong. There's poor white kids. So, Basically, how I took it is that white kids can't be poor, or that poor kids aren't white, and that they're only minorities. Well, in that case, another opinion is that housing in college is trash. I'm not even in college, but I just know it's trash. How do you live? How do you pay thousands of dollars to share a room with somebody? Both of y'all are paying. However much is say two thousand dollars a semester. No, it's more than that. It's like ten thousand. But it's like ten thousand dollars to live in a storm where there's no kitchen, no dining room, no living room. Literally a bedroom, the twin bed. No actual built closet. They have a wardrobe. Whoa. Why? Do? And I don't even have a, my own bathroom. I have to share a bathroom. Like, in what world is that okay? I guess to be blessed, but, but, and that's just one semester that's like $10,000. So, two semesters, that's $20,000 to share a room with somebody that you don't even know. 
Now it's on the other screen. Also. Alright, whatever. Another unpopular picture is that <laughs> Facebook and Twitter are the best social media to fight. Because they just are. No, I'm joking. I feel like Instagram not the way it used to. Because it's just pictures of people showing how good their life is and how perfect they are. And you're begging for likes and comments and da 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 Whereas, and then Snapchat, I feel like a lot of people are getting away from posting on their regular story. They have private stories now. And if you're not gang, then there's no point in adding it. And also, I'll give you three chances. So cut up with my subscribers before I add you. Because. Literally. Who are you? To think that I'm going to be subscribed. Like you literally go to my school. I see you every day. You sit in front of me and mad that you think I'm going to. Like. Twitter. I said it's the best app. Because. It's hilarious. Twitter is the funniest thing ever. If you're having a bad day, go on Twitter. Like, there's just so many funny things on there. I understand how the first time you're seeing those things. And also, I feel like Twitter be on top of it with the news. Like a lot of stuff happens on social media, like around the world. Um, I do not have social media. I would not know what's going on. Another unpopular um, opinion. I think it's because of where I live. I'm sitting in Chicago. So maybe. This is why. Watching the news is very depressing because all you see, I want you to talk about is killings and shootings and gangs and murders and I just feel like it's not okay. Um, y'all need to find some other stuff to report. Because I know a lot of positive things go on in Chicago that the news does not report on that they should. Honestly, you probably never had a bad teacher. Okay, I'm going to take that back. You probably have. But teachers are so disrespected in our society. And this is a bad thing. But, um, no disrespected in our society bad and it's bogus because they have so much up for these kids and disrespecting teachers is not cool I never would be but last but not least is that but it was fun talking to y'all. Hopefully. Hopefully y'all start to revisit your opinions. And if you don't, you know, I respect them. I will be really responding to comments down below. I will not argue with you though because that's a waste of my time and your time. I'm not going to argue anyway. But I want to say have a blessed day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.